Ladies, gentlemen, by far this could be one of the most important videos I'm going to have to do. A personal statement is one of the toughest things to write. Today we're going to discuss the technique behind writing a personal statement, motivation statement, CV, or even interview questions. The STAR technique is a form of writing that answers competency-based questions. And today, we're going to break down what the STAR technique is and what it represents. The STAR technique is split into four sections. S for situation, T for task, A for action taken, and R, <laughs> R for the results that you achieved from the action that was taken. Let's explain those. The STAR technique is really about telling a story. Now, remember the last dramatic movie that you watched? Well, I'm sure that there was an opening story that painted the picture of what the movie was going to be about. That is the situation. After that, we saw this heroine come in or this hero come in to solve a certain challenge. There was a task presented to the hero. Then after that, we see the hero do something, maybe go and put out a fire or go and rescue a baby or even a cat from a tree. That is the action that we start to see. By the end of the movie, the audience has seen the result. We've seen the hero solve the situation that had earlier on been presented to us. Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly how the STAR technique works. That's how we write out our personal statements or even answer questions at an interview. You start off with the situation, the task, the action, and then the results that you achieved from the action that was taken. Simple as that, you would think. But let's break it down a little more. Let's start with the S for situation. When writing out your situation, you need to take note of the time, context, and place. It could be a general setting or something specifically that you faced at your organization. For example, an applicant could write, last year I volunteered with a COVID relief organization that looked to feed 500 people through fundraising 1 million Uganda shillings. That's an example of the situation that the person had at hand. The next section is T. T for task. Now, T for task. This is your role in the story. This section looks to capture what task you are really faced with, um, the goal, the objectives, and what you really did. Don't forget to include your collaboration with others, but at the same time, you need to remember that you are the star of this story, so we need to see what you did. For example, picking up from the situation that we had already painted, an applicant could write, my main objective was to assign roles, check the progress of committee members, and ensure that the 100 people who had been chosen were indeed in need of the COVID relief funds and also ensure that we meet the objective of the fundraising amount we are looking at getting. So, this answers the question, what challenge did you face given the situation you had at hand? The third section is A for action. Now, this is the heart of the story. This is what the admission officers, scholarship award officers, um, the employers, whatever you are writing, this is the part that they will be looking at. What action did you take to achieve the situation and challenge you had at hand? Also, don't forget to state what you did as a team, but it's important to always remember that you are the star of the story. So again, you will need to see the action you took for example, I was able to mobilize my team to meet local leaders within the community and through the local leaders were able to identify over a hundred people that we could be able to support and through meeting with friends and family and other people within the community were able to start fundraising for those in need of the COVID relief funds. So you see, this answers the question, what actions you took to be able to achieve the goal that you had initially set out. Now finally, the R for results. This shows the outcomes that you are able to achieve. It is very important to indeed show that your actions, the actions that you took, actually made a difference. And it is important to quantify your results. 
can't stress it enough quantify your results for example again picking up from the story we are already building you could say that with my team we were able to identify 150 families who we were able to extend the covid relief funds we also managed to fundraise 2 million uganda shillings and we exceeded our target by over a hundred percent see how that was able to capture your action your results and how that solved the dilemma or the situation we had right at the beginning that's it that's what you need to do when you're writing out your personal statement motivation statement or even your cv we need to see the achievements your actions that you actually brought to the table that is the selling technique for you to have a winning scholarship AC and application. Bonus tip. I know this can still feel quite difficult. Here's what I advise. Start out with bullet points, but start on time. Give yourself some time because it takes a while for you to build this kind of story. If you start on time, do your bullet points, then start to formulate the story. Then within no time, you, you start to make adjustments. And after a short period of time, you will have a draft. Then you will have a final document but start on time and start now hope you got to learn one or two things or at least hope you got to learn the start technique in the comment section write out for me the situation you had at hand the task you were faced with the actions you took and the results that you achieved until next time remember it might be hard but not impossible